Welcome back to Silver Run Forest. Yeah, I've got something big on the trailer. And still got plenty of money. Money is rolling in. All the productions are just cranking out the cash. So we are now in August. I believe the last episode we ended in June. And the trees down the way had sprouted a bit, but they have grown. And we're going to harvest them today. Titling this video something to the effect of a southern pine harvest. Something like that maybe. We'll see what the thumbnail comes out as. But one thing I want to do before we get started. So I did end up buying the other Volvo truck. It's the, uh, it's the one that has 750 horsepower. So I've got it hooked up here to uh, well a Pitts trailer. I believe this is by FS Miner. And we have the big loader on it. And one thing I want to show you. This is what I have been having trouble with. With all of the Volvo trucks. I don't know what's going on. But. They. Don't have any traction. See that? I had it full chalk turn. And it will. Will not turn. I don't know why it does that. Again. Full to the right, and <laughs> we're going straight. If I let off the gas, it seems to try and turn, sort of, maybe not quite. Yeah, it's too. I think it's too much weight, and these trucks can't get the traction, or maybe there's something going on with the uh, update, or the trucks. So, I do have this Mac here. I just bought it, uh, just to see what will happen. Uh, I haven't not done this test yet, so I've just got it set up here. So let's pull this truck out of the way. Really nice truck, by the way. I uh, like the cab movement. You can see it has some cab flex. And the interior is very well done. Looks nice, quiet. Has a BB horn. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know why we can't get any traction. So... Let's try it with the Mac here and see if we get any different result. I don't know that we will or not, but this is a little bit of on-the-fly testing here. All right, there we go. So we are going forwards. Yeah, we are getting a definite, definitely more traction. Yep. So, I don't know. I don't know why those Volvo trucks don't have traction, which, if I remember correctly, when the Max first come out, well, when the game first released, I think they had an issue with some traction. So, maybe they just need to do a little tweaking. I'm not real sure. But either how, we're going to use this truck today. Oh, let's stop, stop, stop. There we go. And I am actually going to uh, just go ahead and... Let's unhook right there, because we are going to use this truck on this trailer down here. This is, now, <laughs> neither of these are expansion pieces of equipment, but I wanted to do something a little different on this episode. Something that brings this home to me, and uh, try to do this uh, logging here the way it's done down here in the south. Well, at least the way... I have seen it done down here in the south. So we've got our truck here, Southern One. <laughs> and then we have us a a logging trailer, which is very similar to what we see down here in the south. Now, a lot of them will actually just have a, a steel post that runs down and uh, the bunks are hooked to that. So a little bit different than some of the ones that I'm familiar with, but all in all, it has that same look. So, what do we have? We have the uh, John Deere Feller Buncher down here. We have the Volvo Excavator. And we have the 
uh, skitter over here. Now, one thing that I don't have, which I am familiar with, is a delimmer. And that's normally a uh, crane type machine that's mounted on a uh, semi trailer. Kind of kind of like an logging trailer without the bunks. And they park it out here, drag the trees to it. It picks up the pine trees and drags them through the delimmer. And then they carry on with the loading. Uh, and maybe I'll throw a picture up of one. That way you guys can know what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do today. So we have this here is the uh, lodge pole pine. I think is what it is. Yeah. So they don't grow these in the south. Uh, they grow the uh, southern pine normally. But we're going to go with this because this is what I planted. Uh, it's still a pine. So it kind of works. Now they are 23.2 meters tall. So they they still got some room to grow. But we're going to, we're going to cut them there. Because I wanted to get in uh, some of the, the cutting operation of what I had planted. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut them down with a feller buncher. Stack them up. Hopefully close to the excavator. And then we'll use the excavator to get them cut to 12 meter lengths. We're going to have to test one. We, we might can go. We might can put the whole things on here. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but we're going to delim them with the Volvo at least and get them stacked up and then we'll use the big excavator down there and load them into the trailer so let's go ahead and get started and this is going to be a little bit different of an episode we're going to try try to do things a little differently here uh, and see if we can't make this work out now I am not a logger but I've seen it done some so I want to do my best I know some of you guys out there probably do this for a living and well I may do it wrong and that's okay but we're gonna get this started here so what I want to do is actually try and lay these down so that I can get to them with the excavator and try to keep them all stacked up in a pile so let's see if we can lay that there without hitting our we're we gonna hit the shed that's what I don't know Oh no, we're well, well, well clear. All right, so let's just lay it there. So I did play around with the uh, John Deere just a little bit, and I think I can't do two trees; it's just too heavy for it. But one tree works okay. Or trees of this size, anyway. Try to keep these in a fairly neat stack just so that the excavator can get to them easily. We're going to work our way down the row, clearing as we go. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, <laughs> it just so happened it did. So I know I complained about this machine earlier on, and mm, I don't know if it was warranted or not. It's it's doing this job really well, I guess, if you keep it within the limits of what it can do. It actually works really well. Oh! I missed a grab on that one. We'll have to get that another way. I wonder if this thing will actually pick up. I wonder if it'll pick them up off the ground. I don't think it will. There we go. We got that one. I don't want to get those too close together and too bunched up because the uh, excavator actually has a little trouble picking uh, some of the logs out of the out of a, a big stack.
Yeah, the automatic uh, head on this thing works really well. I do like that. I know some of you are playing with joysticks. Probably have some buttons set up that you can map it out where you can control it. Uh, but I don't have that uh, playing with the uh, Xbox controller here. So I am letting the head work automatically. I would. I don't even know if you can manually operate it. I am sure you can. Depending on how your controls are set up. So that's the first row cut down that fast. It actually goes rather quickly, especially if you don't have to carry it a long ways. And I know the camera is probably moving around rather quickly here, but I'm trying to, whoop, that's the wrong button, run through it uh, a little bit quickly so that we can kind of go through the entire operation. So let's cut off the uh, cutter there. Oop, 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 oop. <laughs> Got away from me. All right, we're gonna leave that there. And we're gonna go over here and jump in the excavator. Now, you know what I need to do? I wonder how long this is. Oh, that may be too long. Let's see. Let's see how long this is. All right, let's turn on the head and we are going to change the cut length to max and we're going to tilt tilt the uh, harvester head down so what we're going to do is spin it around and then uh, grab a log as you come down on the log it'll give you the option to cut and what it'll do is it'll bump the uh, end of the log back flush there so that it starts it at the right length. So now, ooh, I am a little bit nervous about this. Let's see. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring it around just a bit so that it doesn't hit the trailer. And let's see what happens here. I have a feeling it's going to hang off, which they do that down here. They hang the logs off the end. We're going to try it. We're going to try it and see what happens. This could be a <laughs> complete disaster. But we're going to give it a shot. Worst case, we get them loaded. And I just chopped the ends off with a chainsaw. So as you can see here, the uh, the head has problems picking, picking up the logs here. Kind of have to have them spread out just a bit I uh, stacked them a little close so we can get that one so if you are doing this you definitely definitely don't want to stack the uh, trees as close as I did here just can't quite get it it's just too close so what we're gonna have to do is just a little bit of work around the around the tree so what I'm gonna do this that tree is in the way so I'm gonna move it so let's lower down the blade and we're oops, slow down a bit slow down there we go. We're just going to bump it around. Sorry about that camera. That was really, really fast. And then let's just come over here and space out the logs a bit. Now, normally I would have tried to maybe practice <laughs> practice a little bit, uh, but I didn't do that. Uh, I sometimes like to show you guys a little bit of trial and error because, you know, hey, I can't have everything work out just perfect and if there are issues I definitely want to uh, pass that information on so that you guys can be successful in your activities as well so uh, this is a little bit of back and forth but that's okay we'll get it done now interestingly 
It is still not. There we go. Finally. Got a log. So we're going to pull this around. We'll go ahead and cut it over here. Get it out of the way. Definitely that did not go where I wanted it to. Now what would be nice is if you had a buddy here with another excavator or something and they could be moving these trees around for you. At least spreading them out, spacing them out so that you could get or whoever's running the uh, cutter here could get in and grab those trees. So we're going to have to jump back in the skitter here real quick and we'll see if we can't space them out a bit I don't know if that's going to be enough we're going to give it a shot alright here we go Let's swap to an inside view here. I, I tend to like this view just a bit more. There we go. So it's a little bit of a slow process. Oh, that did not. Oh, that did not work out good. But it's it's authentic. Uh, this is how they do it down here. They they have the uh, big pine areas that they have the uh, skitters working um, I've never seen an excavator out with a cutter head uh, not saying they don't use them but it's just not what I have seen those trees really want to be together don't they <laughs> alright let me uh, get these spaced out a bit and then we will continue cutting them Well, that didn't work. <laughs> well, I've got uh, the trees cut. Or delimbed. And we had this one oddball that had fallen into the uh, tree line. And I had to drag it out. And it ended up getting cut just a little bit. Well, a lot the wrong way. We're going to drag it around the farm here. And get it lined up with the rest of the, of the logs. And it is catching on something. There we go. So you see I've painted in some grass. The sheep are doing well. We've got a few pallets of wood. Uh, I did end up replanting. Uh, if you notice the fields have some more crops in it. Uh, we have oats growing. And I actually rolled them. Rolled the hoots. <laughs> How many times has that joke been used in, in Farming Simulator? Uh... Yeah, so we, we rolled the oats. They've been fertilized, so everything's good to go on them. Uh, I even picked the stones out of the field. So everything is is good. So let's drop this off here. Ooh, here's a little... Doing a little dancing jig there. Alright, let's see if I can squeeze by. Yeah. And we'll get this thing pushed up against the others. I've already taken uh, taken the other ones and got them lined up and straightened out. Oops. Alright. There we go. So that is about as good as it's going to get right there. So I'm going to back this up out of the way. Alright. So I think I need to move the truck a bit. Uh, we are... Oh, actually we have one more that's just a little bit off. But I think we can, we can get that taken care of. Nope, it's going to drag it with us. Doesn't that figure? So 
so uh, in that last episode, I mentioned that I was well. I intended to wrap this series up, and I did, truthfully did. But I'm having such a really good time playing this map. I really am. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. And so I don't know. Maybe I'll keep this thing going a little bit longer. I know a lot of you have mentioned that you're enjoying the series. I do appreciate that. Appreciate the comments. But um, yeah, it was intended to be a, a limited series. I'm just having such a good time. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep this going for a little bit longer. Uh, don't know. I don't have any plans right now. We're just winging it. Totally winging it. But there's still a lot of equipment that I have not had the chance to use. So there are possibilities for us to continue things. So I have actually, uh, <laughs> because of the traction issues, I've changed the configuration on this truck here, this Volvo, a couple times trying to get different uh, setups here and nothing seems to work. So I think there's just an issue with the uh, with the traction with them. Alright, so let's get that unfolded. And we're going to jump in the big Volvo. Now, I was intending to, to buy this and it just coincidentally happened to pop into the used vehicle cell. Uh, I, you know, I had to jump on that. And what I'd actually intended to do is take this up to the sawmill and uh, use it to unload the trucks there. And speaking of that, there is still uh, one thing that I do want to show you guys eventually. Uh, now that we have this loader here, I'll be able to do it. Uh, that will probably have to wait till a future episode. Uh, but then I decided to do the logging here, so I said, well, this thing will work out good for us doing this I hope it will so we're gonna give it a shot and <laughs> I am really hitting those stumps there so let's look at the trailer and look at the logs I, th I think we're gonna be okay it's gonna overhang a bit but they do in real life sometimes probably not as much as we're gonna have them overhanging but oh well it's all about having fun right mostly all right uh, one thing I don't know if you guys noticed there is actually a pusher on the front of this thing so you can actually uh, use it to push the stacks a bit if you need to all right this thing is really wide so I want to make sure I'm getting uh, getting it lined up the best I can all right that looks good that looks good Let's close her up. Alright, we got the clamps that have come down. Locked the logs in place. Hopefully we've got it somewhat centered. A little bit off. We're hanging down a little over on the right. But I think we can make that work. Now that I'm looking at it, these logs are really long really long oh boy let's see can we get up any higher oh can we get over that the end bunk we can all right let's give it a little twist here on the uh, grapple and we'll start lowering it down how are we looking how are we looking up front we're a little bit we're a little bit close well that may actually work out okay Are we in? We're in. They probably could have scooted it forward just a bit more. There we go. Let's see. We just unload right there. That's actually not too bad. Not too bad.
think the logs have a little bit of a collision there on the frame, but yeah, it's a little long back here, but we'll make that work. We can do with that. So very good. Very good. I like that. So that's kind of how it's done down here in the south. They have a lot of of the uh, southern pine uh, areas that they go about uh, collecting or harvesting, logging the, the uh, southern pine. A lot of it is used, most of it is used for pulp wood. They take it over to the uh, paper companies and make uh, things like uh, paper, cardboard, napkins, all that kind of stuff. Let's see if that'll settle any. Nope, not settling. So that's kind of how they do it down here and I just wanted to have a little episode to kind of show the process how I know it. Um, using these big cutter heads I know they have their place and I'm sure they are very popular in all parts of the world. I have never seen one in operation down here so that's why I wanted to do something a little different. Uh, if I had one more piece of equipment the dilemma I could have made it a little bit more authentic but that's it. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to go ahead and log the rest of these off camera and get them taken uh, to the sawmill or maybe I'll take them over to the paper company because I forgot. I have not bought that yet. That's the only production left that I haven't bought. So I may uh, take a load or two of these logs or whatever will fit over to it and fill her up and then buy it. Start making a little bit of uh, paper products. Make it authentic. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please be sure and remember to click that thumbs up button. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe today. That way you can uh, click that bell and be notified of all future content. I do appreciate y'all for watching all the comments. You guys are awesome. We'll see you next time.